And welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Today's topic is about dopamine. Actually, dopamine is a very broad subject. Try to cover it in a few minutes, it's not easy. Let's go around the topic. Dopamine as chemical messenger. Monoamine and catecholamine, synthesis and breakdown of dopamine, mesocortical dopamine pathway and reward system, synthesis of dopamine via liver and adrenal medulla, epinephrine, norepinephrine, synthesis of dopamine via blood brain barrier. Neurotransmitter in the brain, disease associated with dopamine dysfunction, Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, HADH, restless syndrome, leg syndrome, dopamine in heart failure, dopamine in depression, and dopamine in addiction. Dopamine is a monoamine. Monoamine means this radical. There is aromatic group and there is NH radical. This is what about monoamine. Monoamine plays a role in emotion, attention, and cognition. Five different types of monoamine. First, dopamine, second, epinephrine, and third, norepinephrine. In addition of catecholamine with a group of hydroxy, they are serotonin and histamine. It is dopamine, this is norepinephrine, and this is epinephrine. This is serotonin and histamine. What they have in common? They have the group aromatic, aromatic group, aromatic group, aromatic group, aromatic group, aromatic group. What makes the difference between catecholamine and other monoamine? Hydroxy group, hydroxy group, hydroxy group with dopamine, with norepinephrine, and with epinephrine, there is hydroxy group. Histamine, only monoamine radical. Histamine, only monoamine radical. Serotonin, only monoamine radical. Neurotransmitters are synthesized in a specific region of the brain, but they affect many regions systematically. The brain includes several distinct pathways in the motivational component of reward motivation and behavior. The anticipation of most type of reward increases the level of dopamine, and many addictive drugs increase dopamine. Other brain dopamine pathway is motor control of neuromodulation. Area region do in, dopamine, in dopamine are uh, ventral tegmentum, substantia niagara, and hypothalamus, and olfactory bulb. The reward system. The mesocortical dopamine pathway connects the ventral tegmentum, which is here, to the frontal cortex, which is here. And use of drug activates the ventral tegmentum area, which itself activates nucleus accumbus via mesolimbic dopamine pathway. As a consequence, dopamine rise 
in nucleus accumbens. Regarding dopamine, the cycle starts by the food, and uh, the the food come with amino acid phenylalanine. This phenylalanine coming from food, it can follow two ways, two pathways. The first pathway is going for the, for, uh, through the liver to adrenal gland, and the second pathway is going fr uh, from food to the brain, the, to the blood-brain barrier, and to the brain. Phenylalanine coming from food is converted to tyrosine by two ways. The synthesis of dopamine is carried out in two ways. A path which passes through the liver and then end up in the medulla of the adrenal gland to synthesize epinephrine and norepinephrine and dopamine to deal with stress. Food to giving phenylalanine to the liver, liver giving tyrosine, tyrosine to the adrenal gland, and adrenal gland to synthesize dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. The second, the second route is by the brain. The second route is the cerebral pathway. And this pathway, there is phenylalanine and tyrosine coming to the blood-brain blood barrier to convert to dopa, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. The first stage of conversion is tyrosine to dopa. This conversion uh, is, uh, this conversion needs oxygen, iron, and folate. In the brain, dopamine is converted into epinephrine. This reaction under copper, iron, and vitamin C. Epinephrine is converted to norepinephrine under SAMI, 5 adenosine methionine. Let's recap. Tyrosine gives dopa, dopa gives dopamine, tyrosine to the dopa, oxygen, iron, and folate, dopa to dopamine, uh, pyridoxyl 5 phosphate, plus vitamin B6. Dopamine to norepinephrine, copper, iron, vitamin C. Norepinephrine to epinephrine, 5 adenosine methionine. As a result, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine lead to concentrate and focus. But the dopamine outside of the brain, in blood vessel, it inhibits norepinephrine, release and act as vasodilator for vessel. In the kidney, it increases sodium excretion. In the pancreas, it reduces insulin production. In the digestive system, it reduces gastrointestinal motility. In the immune system, it reduces the activity of lymphocytes. Vasodilatation in vessel, decrease motility in GI, decrease insulin in pancreas, increase secretion of sodium in kidney, and decrease the activity of lymphocytes. A normal subject is in balance between the lack of dopamine and the excess of dopamine. If there is a lack of dopamine, it leads to Parkinson. If there is excess of dopamine, it leads to psychosis. There is evidence that schizophrenia involves altered level of dopamine activity.
at the most antipsychotic drug used to treat this are dopamine antagonists, which reduce dopamine activity. Similar dopamine antagonist drugs are also some of the most effective anti-nausea agents. Antipsychotic or neuroleptic are a class of medication primarily used to manage psychosis, delusion, hallucination, paranoia. Disorder of thought principally in schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders. They are also mainly together with mood stabilizer in the treatment of bipolar disorder. Attention deficit hyperactivity, ADHD are associated with decreased dopamine activity. In attention deficit, there is hyperactivity, there is impulsivity, there is inattention. As a result, there is social academic function disturbance. They all this by the deficit of dopamine. Parkinson disease is a degenerative condition caused by loss of dopamine secreting neuron. In era of midbrain called substantia nigra. Its metabolic precursor L-dopa can be manufactured. L-dopa, a pure form of L-dopa, is the most widely used treatment for Parkinson. Rest leg syndrome, a condition that causes an uncomfortable urge to move your legs, usually because of an uncomfortable sensation. It typically happens in the evening or night time hour when you're sitting or lying down. We treat by primipexol. Depression is the intersection between serotonin deficit and dopamine deficit. With dopamine deficit, it's Parkinson-like symptom, anhedonia. With serotonin deficit, it's OCD-like symptom. Depression is between them. There is a natural addiction for food, water, sleep, exercise, and books. This, this addiction is caused by dopamine. This addiction is healthy, is good for survival, and let's do it again. Hierarchy of survival. First, food, then water, then sleep, then physical training, then reading. The, bo the body is full of thinking there is substance are good, sometimes even more important than food, water or sleep. As a consequence, the brain put them number one spot in survival hierarchy. Rather than to have food as number one, it put if there is addiction to alcohol, alcohol become number one in the hierarchy of survival. And this anomaly, full thinking, the substances are good sometimes even more important than food, water, and sleep. As a consequence, the brain put them number one spot in survival hierarchy. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in Theory Minute. Make sure to put the uh, button like and subscribe. Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.